Welcome back at 545. Before you buy and wrap those presents, it is important to know what toys are safe and which ones could be trouble in your house. And our Patrick Nelson spoke with consumer experts and doctors on the front lines about their biggest concerns, Patrick. Very important conversations for us to have right now. Water beads. See them here over my shoulder. Button batteries and high powered magnets. These are some of the items emergency room doctors say children put in their mouths, leaving them in situations where they're fighting for their lives. A lead doctor at Children's Hospital tells me these situations are a major concern during the holidays because they're already seeing about one emergency every month involving button batteries alone. So this is a bag of water beads, and again, it looks like sprinkles. I mean, these are very, very small. Coperg Executive Director Danny Katz says when you add water or if a child puts them in their mouth, the water beads grow. The choking hazard and the potential to block digestive tracts of children landed these sensory toys in his organization's 38th annual Trouble in Toyland report. So these little guys grow to the same size as the ones on the, the center of the screen there. Michael DeStefano, chief medical officer at Children's Hospital Colorado, says unfortunately he's seen just how dangerous these situations can be for many families. These ingestions happen within seconds. However, if they're not treated quickly, it can have lifelong consequences and potentially have really bad outcomes. Another ongoing concern, children finding and swallowing high powered magnets or button batteries, often found in remotes, decorations, and even greeting cards. Button batteries are very time sensitive. We wanna try to get those button batteries out within two hours uh, from ingestion. You can have injury as quick as five minutes from being ingested. Consumer watchdogs also say we should be aware of accidentally buying recalled items in online marketplaces. The Trouble in Toyland report noted online retailers listed all types of products that had been recalled. And it wasn't until after buying a product, a letter was sent saying, oops, this has been recalled. Emergency room doctor Clayton Leal says his team at the new St. Francis Interquest Hospital will also be ready to help during a crisis. He says supervision goes a long way in preventing problems. It's more just being aware and obviously if you have little kids, just making sure you're watching them when they're playing with their new toys. And even bigger kids are often hurt during the holidays. A lot of times kids come in after getting, you know, presents from their family. They get those hoverboards, the skateboards, and, you know, unfortunately, you know, sometimes they don't get a helmet with that. So they fall and injure themselves. So, uh, you know, definitely during the holidays, we see a lot of those things. A last note from the doctors at Children's Hospital, sometimes age appropriate toys for one sibling end up in the hands of the little brother or sister. You want to make sure that uh, toys or substances that may be harmful to a child are stored in a way that they can't get to. And Bree, it's not always high end technology for these consumer watchdog groups to identify some of these hazards. They tell me we can actually do some of these tests at home. All that you need is one of these an empty toilet paper roll. <laughs> we they all say, have those. I, I would hope so, right? <laughs> so, what they say is this is about the same size as the airway okay. of, of a child. So we have a couple of things here. You can see the Snoopy toy right here. They basically say you can test any toy or item at home. If it cannot pass through, you can see Snoopy does Snoopy's not pass head. through, oh, okay. right? And so that in theory would not be a choking or ingestion hazard. However, if you have a toy, maybe a Lego, something the size of like this clip, you can kind of see it here against my jacket, the orange clip. You can see it obviously passes through. So that not only could be a choking hazard, but also could be ingested like those water beads and could really be a problem. And also a problem to step on with those Legos or those little guys. Not what good. ages though are consumer experts and doctors saying that they're most concerned about when it comes to these choking or the swallowing hazard. So when you do this test, you're re you're really looking out for kids that are under the age of three. A lot of times mm -hmm. when you see toys, you'll see that three plus uh, age group on the toys. The good news is a vast majority of toys are safe. If you want to take a look at the Trouble in Toyland.